welcome to my channel uh, thank you very much for support and uh, please do not uh, forget to subscribe to the channel thank you very much uh, the measles is a highly infectious viral uh, illness that can be very uh, unpleasant you know and sometimes lead to serious complications so it's now uh, uncommon in uh, uh, because of the effectiveness of the vaccination, you know, so uh, anyone can get measles if uh, they have not been vaccinated or they have uh, not had uh, it before, uh, although it's most common in young children, you know, so the infection usually clears uh, in around 7 to uh, 10 days. The symptoms of um, uh, measles uh, 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 develop around 10 days after you are infected, so this can include uh, uh, cold like symptoms such as runny nose, sneezing, cough, uh, sore and red eyes that may be sensitive to light, uh, a high temperature fever which may read around 40 degrees centigrade, that's around 104 degrees Fahrenheit, you know. And so small grayish white spots uh, on the inside of cheeks. Uh, so a few days later, a, a red brown uh, uh, blotchy rash will appear, and this usually starts uh, at the end uh, uh, at the on the head or the upper neck, you know, and before spreading towards the rest of the body. You know. And the next thing is uh, uh, you should consult your doctor as soon as possible if you suspect that uh, you or your child may have the uh, measles. You know. Now. Uh, it's best to phone before uh, visiting your doctor, uh, you know, so to make arrangements to reduce the risk of spreading it to um, other patients, you know. Uh, so, uh, measles can be unpleasant, uh, but it is usually uh, pass uh, in about 7 to 10 days uh, without causing any kind of further problems, you know. Um, uh, once you had the measles, your body builds up resistance uh, to the virus and it's highly unlikely that uh, you will get it again in life you now. However, measles can be uh, lead to serious or potential life-threatening complications in some people, you know, and these include like uh, pneumonia and, uh, and uh, syphilitis, you know. Uh, the measles um, can spread uh, uh, the, the virus is con uh, contain the measles virus is contained in millions of tiny droplets that come out of the nose of the mouth uh, when an infected person uh, coughs or sneezes, you know. So you can easily catch measles by um, uh, breathing in the same, uh, in the, uh, those droplets, you know, or in the, if the droplets have settled uh, on the surface, you know, so by touching the surface or then uh, placing uh, your hands near the nose or mouth, you know. So this way you can get the measles, you know. So the people uh, with measles uh, uh, are infectious from uh, when the symptoms develop until about four days after the rash uh, first appears, you know. Uh, the measles can be prevented by having uh, the measles, mumps and uh, rubella, that's called MMR vaccine, you know. Uh, this is given uh, two doses uh, as part of um, uh, the vaccination program, you know. The first dose is given when uh, your child is around 13 months. Or and the second dose is given uh, before your child starts school. Yeah. So adults and children um, uh, can be vaccinated uh, at any age if uh, they haven't been fully vaccinated before. You know. uh, so you should ask your doctor about, uh, the, um, about the vaccination. Uh, if the MMR vaccine isn't suitable for you, so the treatment called uh, human uh, normal immunoglobin uh, globulin, you know, so uh, that can be used if you are at the immediate risk of um, uh, catching uh, measles in it. You know, the next thing is how to treat it. So there are several things you can do to help receive your uh, reduce your, uh, your symptoms, you know, and uh, reduce the risk of spreading the infection, including like uh, taking paracetamol uh, to relieve fever, aches and pains, you know. Um, so aspirin should not be given uh, to the children under the 16 years of age, you know. Uh, drinking plenty of water, providing uh, dehydration and uh, uh, closing the curtains to help reduce light sensitivity, you know. Uh, using damp cotton wool uh, to clean the uh, eyes, you know. And uh, staying off school or work uh, for at least four days from uh, when you, uh, uh, the rash appears, you know, so when the measles is active, you know. So in severe cases, especially if there are complications, 
your your child may need to be admitted to hospital for the treatment uh, uh, 